Listen, the Pivot, it is the training camp tour, and what better place to be than Detroit? Hard Knocks uh, is filming the Detroit Lions during training camp, and we have the perfect person to tell us about Hard Knocks, NFL films. It is Shannon Furman, super director, because when we were preparing for this, I said producer, and I almost got fired from my co-hosting job. Shannon, like, how excited do you get every year when Hard Knocks rolls around? I mean, it's pretty exciting. We all think we're like crazy because we know it's like six to seven weeks on the road, but everybody comes back every year. Like, it's a very similar crew every year. Um, we're a family, so we love being on the road together. We love traveling. It's nice when the team wants you to be there, um, which is a situation we're walking into this year. And we also knew back in, I think this was announced in like April or May. So having that kind of lead up time just makes my life so much easier than when we find out on July 7th, like is last year. It, is it like the NCAA uh, tournament though, right? Like are, are you guys yeah. like sitting around and, and, and waiting on your team? Like, oh my gosh, like, like, like who are we gonna get? Who are we gonna get? And yeah. then they're announcing. I think it. people think I, I know like before them. Like I usually find out when all of you guys find out. Like it's not, I'll kind of know who the options might be, but like, we really don't know it's happening until it's like officially put out because anything can happen before that. So yeah, I don't find out that far in advance of everybody else. I, I know who the options are, but it is exciting for us to see where we're gonna be. Shannon, we spoke outside and uh, you said this is different. Being here in Detroit is different than any of the other ones you've done before. And that was based on the coaching staff. Could you elaborate on that? Yeah, I mean, this coaching staff is definitely unique. Just the pedigree because they were players in the league and like, not only were they players, they were like legit players. They had long careers, they contributed. Um, people know their names, know who they are. They bring a different energy out there on the practice field than I've seen since I was, I started directing the show in the field um, in 2015, I was the assistant director. And it's just like, you gravitate towards all of them. Like, I don't know how we're even gonna be able to, and then even the guys that, that didn't like play a long time yet, like Aubrey Pleasant and Todd Wash, they're awesome too. So it's gonna be tough. Like trying to get everyone in there because they really all do bring something extra that I feel like I haven't seen before. You're talking about the, the personalities and all and like, you know, just we can watch a football play, but now the, personal, the, the personalities and the people in the, in the meeting rooms and all that. So from your side, what do you what do you love about doing it? Because well, how, how long has Hard Knocks been on? Twenty plus years. I think this is the seventeenth like season of it, but yes, it's like twenty years total. Because last year was the twentieth anniversary. Oh, okay. but I think this is the seventeenth summer Hard From Knocks. From your side, what makes it good? Like, what makes it be what it is? What makes it Hard Knocks? I mean, I think just taking people into places that they can't go, like seeing things that they don't normally get to see every day. I mean, they see all you guys in helmets on the field, but we're able to put a face to that. I mean, I tell people, like my most proud moment on Hard Knocks was probably the Raiders year when I was able to tell Darren Waller's story. Mm. At the time, he had just come to the Raiders, so people didn't know how great he was gonna be yet. We kind of watched him a couple days and we're like, okay, yeah, this guy's good. It's hard to tell backstory sometimes on this show because you're so in the moment. You're kind of living day by day at training camp, so to be able to get into someone's life and where they came from, it's hard. It's, so I was adamant <laughs> that we were going to do that that year, though, and Darren was willing. Like, he was willing to open up. I mean, we even drove with him to a Narcotics Anonymous meeting. Wow. So it was just really powerful, and I think, like, a lot of us know people who have dealt with addiction and stuff. So to be able to tell that story on that show was my most proud moment, and that's what I love about this show is being able to tell your guys' stories and so that you're more than a football player. So who's the star this year? Like who, like you've been, it's, it's, it's early, but you know, like you get a guy on film or a guy's mic'd up and you're like, oh yeah, that's the one. Like he's gonna be the breakout star that everybody loves on Hard Knocks. So who should we be looking for in this season of it? I think we're still looking for like our rookies and our long shot guys. But again, going back to the coaching staff, I had a cameraman tell me yesterday that I mean, I guess I can say, uh, Deuce Staley was mic'd for us yesterday, and my camera operator has done almost every season of Hard Knocks, and he said that is the best thing I've ever shot for Hard Knocks. Wow. He's like, 
he just coached. He was he did not care that we were there. He didn't know that we were there, and he just did what he does. That was awesome. He's like he let me do my job. I let him do his job, and it was great. So. Um, but that's probably, people probably know that Deuce is going to be great. Like, same with the whole coaching staff. Kelvin Shepard is someone who's stuck out to me so far. Well, he went to LSU, so, <laughs> I mean, I'm not, I'm not shocked by this at all, Shannon, <laughs> that you would look at an LSU guy and say that that's someone uh, that has stood out. Many times that's people... My that's my man, though. Many times people time watch this show and they go, wow, these LSU guys are really amazing. LSU's my second even, favorite. Y'all can't even spell. <laughs> New guys shoot at you... <laughs> like, you have a staff. I want to know, like, because it's, it's young guys there, you know. Do guys shoot at you, your staff? I mean, I'm very focused when I'm working on this show. So, like, even if it's happening, I feel like I, I don't know that that's happening. I Shane, swear. you know if somebody's shooting Alicia at you. can tell you. <laughs> <laughs> you know I if somebody's not, shooting I, No, I don't, though. Like, I am literally, like, I mean, you guys saw, I have, like, things in my ears. Like, you're just, like, you really are, like, just very focused. And at this point, like... I mainly work with the coaches. I let my assistant directors and stuff work with all the players and kind of do those things, like trying to get everybody time to be able to learn this job, be a director and stuff. So, I mean, has it happened yet? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, it took you that long to get to that point? I remember camp. I'm a professional. They might not be, though. Like, I was looking at the lady that made the bagels, like, damn, <laughs> lady. Damn, bagel lady. <laughs> you doing? Oh, damn, God. bagel lady, how you doing? But yeah, so just being around the guys and know and knowing the locker room environment yeah. and knowing camp environment, that's what that's what I wanted to know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, has it happened? Yeah. yeah. But I like I'm focused, I'm a professional, so is my staff. Yeah. That's my answer. They ain't got no game. Yeah, yeah, like they ain't got no game. <laughs> oh my so, god. How how much uh, you know, we've been blessed to have Alicia come from NFL films and have that background and like just seeing the number of people who have gone on to do great things and that are still doing great things uh, with NFL films, how much pride do you have in being the director of such a, like, it's it's legendary, it's, it's, it's a staple, it's something that all NFL fans look forward to. I guess I've never thought about it like that. Um, I do, like, I love, I love my job. Like, my job is probably better than any dream job I would have thought about as, like, a kid. Like, I thought I was going to be, like, the sports anchor on the nightly news. Like, that was what... So being able to tell people stories and not feeling like TMZ or, like, I'm, like, being... It's it's awesome. Um, and to do it on this show, uh, it's, it's a dream come true. I mean, I don't... Sometimes I'm, like... I've seen, like, other directors kind of come and go. And I'm like, man, I don't I hope they don't kick me out of this role. Like, I want to, <laughs> I have fun doing it. I want to keep doing it. I don't want to stop. So I don't see myself stop doing it anytime soon as long as they'll have me. We've learned a lot in these past couple days. Alicia keeps us on the road. It's a constant pivot. And for you guys, the entire crew, how hard is that part of it? To just be in the city, you know, away from home for an extended period of time. It's gotten harder. As I've gotten older, it's gotten harder. But we're all family, so we make it fun. A lot of the crew, some of the crew does three weeks and kind of leaves. The directors, we do all stay for the full six to seven weeks. We have family that come in. It goes by really fast. I mean, it's hard, but, like, we love it and we make it fun. I mean, I have a video I can send Alicia if you guys wanted to use it from our production meeting yesterday. I mean, we do random things to just keep stuff fun. Like, we'll have scavenger hunts that, like, our audio guys set up. I mean, they came out and did this Game of Thrones thing in the production meeting yesterday morning. That they just I'm re-watching Game of Thrones, by the way. <laughs> yeah, like, they, they just said to me, like, Shannon, like, don't start the meeting. Like, I have, we have a guest appearance. And, like, one of our PAs came in dressed in a robe. And, I'm, like, <laughs> so they do things to keep it interesting and, like, keep it very, like, family oriented and so that makes it easier when you are gone for that long. We went upstate I had a great time with Alicia's family. I mean, amazing time. And there's one game I want to recommend. I don't know if you've played it, but it was my first Mexican train. <laughs> I don't know how many people are on the stage. I staff. have not played that. Listen, <laughs> that's the one. They roll dice. Dice they roll is dice cool. A lot. Yeah. Dice is cool, but Mexican train, you've okay. been amazed I'll how much crap, the, how much shit you can Alicia. talk. <laughs> you know, you can take shots or whatever your, whatever the end game you all want right, it to be. All right. it but that's a like, dope one. Okay. So, Check that one out. So in your director role now. We're going to let you also be marketer, promotional director. Tell us a little bit about the the first show. When can we see it? How can we see it? And give us a sneak peek 
into what's going to be the moment you're looking forward to? I mean, I think it's already the cat's out of the bag with the Aiden Hutchinson moment. So yeah, it'll be on next Tuesday on HBO. And, and the PR staff here thought that I think no one was going to find out what Aiden, the, the Aiden moment. And I was like, we have too many days. Like, it's definitely going to come out. So I've never, I, I was smiling very hard during that. Like, I shut my phone off in team meeting because I'm just super nervous that anything could happen, even though it's on silent. I turned it back. As soon as he started singing, I turned the phone back on. I texted the woman who runs things at home, and I was like, you better start clearing Michael Jackson and Billie Jean right now. <laughs> like, is that um, good? like, immediately. Yes. It's, it is... I don't, I, it is the best singing moment I think, I, Jared was not lying, it is the best singing moment I think we've ever had on Hard Knocks. Um, and not because he's like an awesome singer, it's the, the whole thing. It was the effort, the energy. The, yes, yes, awesome. the whole thing. It was a number two overall pick moment. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it was love. great. I mean, we had it covered from every single angle. So we didn't even know it was happening, but we were prepared. So it's the whole performance. It's everything around it. Um, and then just, again, the coaches. There's going to be a lot of the coaching staff and introducing you to different members of the coaching staff. And I think that's going to be pretty powerful. Well, we appreciate you giving us a little bit of your time. You know, kind of upset that Hard Knocks didn't come in here and see their director sit on the pivot. Like, I'm not sure if you know. I mean, we're no Hard Knocks, but we got a pretty darn good show as well. <laughs> but nah, just thank you so much uh, for giving us some of your time, a little bit of insight into what it's like to be the director uh, of Hard Knocks. And I'll never forget your title ever again. Appreciate you. Thanks for having me. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> the bagel lady. <laughs>